Hi guys, it's Ben here, and after Liverpool had a £66 million bid turned down by Leipzig for Naby Keita, it looks like the Reds will not be looking to sign the player this summer. So it looks like one of the longest and most tedious sagas in recent memory for Liverpool is about to come to an end. They've had their last bid rejected for Naby Keita and it looks like, as far as Chris Bascom of The Telegraph is concerned, they will not be pursuing him anymore. They're going to wait until next summer when the £48 million release clause comes in and they're confident they can land him then. Liverpool have bid £57 million, they've tried £66 million. Leipzig have not changed their stance, they've insisted that the Ghanaian is not for sale and there's no budging from that. This will be very frustrating for Jürgen Klopp, it's obviously the player he's wanted for a while to transform his team but this summer it's not to be for the Reds next summer who knows who's going to be in for him at 48 million pounds and a lot of clubs that have already been linked who knows who's going to be interested by the time he has another great season if he does indeed do that it's frustrating it's horrible we thought we had it done at one point but it looks like Leipzig just were too stubborn and you have to say Fair enough to them, it's exactly the same as our situation with Coutinho. We want to stand firm, we don't want anything to do with Barcelona, not even £80 million would tempt us into selling him to them. You have to sympathise with Leipzig, they want to keep hold of this guy for one more year, they feel like they can win the Bundesliga with him, they feel like they can do well in the Champions League. Who are we to stop them if we can't bid what they're happy with? Bascom says Liverpool think they'll be in pole position to sign Cater next summer. I'm not so sure, I think if Bayern Munich come in, we could be waving goodbye. This all came after the glimmer of hope on Saturday night when Winner Sports, who I've never heard of and do not know how they got this information, said that we'd agreed a deal for £74 million. Pounds. That's obviously not to be. That rumour was absolutely nothing. No navigator this summer, it looks like pretty devastating. Very frustrating. Can't wait to see what we do instead. As for Virgil van Dijk, now this is a player that Liverpool are still after, but only if they get the green light from Southampton to bid for the Dutch defender. He obviously has his heart set on Liverpool. He's turned down Chelsea and Man City in order to make that clear to the Reds. But we all know what happened earlier on this summer. Can we resurrect that deal? Southampton's stance at the moment is just like Leipzig. They don't want to sell the player. They've got no interest in particularly dealing with Liverpool. We've been picking and choosing which Saints players we've wanted to sign for years now. They're fed up of that and who knows if they're going to let us get this guy. New Southampton manager Maurizio Pellegrino, the former Liverpool defender, has confirmed that Van Dijk has been training alone on the manager's orders. He's not in the right frame of mind to be playing for the Saints at the moment. He's made it clear to them that he wants to come to Liverpool. Pellegrino says he's got a good relationship with him, but he just doesn't feel like he's ready to train with the team. He doesn't want to upset the dynamic of the squad as they prepare for the new season. He did say, though, that he needs to work with the players that are 100% ready to defend Southampton. And if Van Dijk never recovers that frame of mind, if he never changes his thought process, if he ever changes his mind, he may well get another chance there, but I don't think that's what he wants. And at the moment, I struggle to see a way how that does change in his head. Pellegrino says that he told Van Dijk if you don't want to be involved and you've got to train alone until that changes, it may not change. He did reiterate that the club will not be selling him though and that he hopes he changes his mind. So what now for Liverpool? The Philippe Coutinho situation is still there. If we sold Coutinho then the whole summer is just completely thrown into disrepute. Anything could quite frankly happen. Would it bring him back, back into the fold? Who else would we target? Is there any way we could sell Coutinho as far as I'm concerned? It will be a conversation we'll have with him and we'll just say, look, one more year. We need one more year out of you. We're not ready to let you go. We've not prepared for this. This is not something we anticipated. This Barcelona bid really has come out of nowhere, just like this Neymar speculation. Nobody was expecting that. And if he does leave to PSG, will they be looking at Coutinho to replace him or are they just trying to appease Neymar by targeting Coutinho? It's a concern, just like the Emre Chan situation. I hope both those players stay Coutinho for at least a year, Emre Chan for the long haul. Liverpool obviously will be looking at someone else now, but Naby Keita appears to be dead in the water until next summer at least. Maybe we look at a different position. Maybe Oxley chamberlain becomes more of a priority. Maybe we look to get another forward. I just don't know. All I know is Virgil van Dijk is still very much on the table. Liverpool need to act quickly and I don't know who the other targets are going to be. Who are the alternatives? Renato Sanchez is still available. William Cavallio hasn't moved. You guys, let me know in the comments what happens from here. Let me know who we should target because the season is less than three weeks away and I've not got a clue he'll be lining up for us against Watford on August the 12th. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like on this video for me and share it out. Show your mates. Follow my other socials. It's Bear My Say on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.